Chapter Ten of the Golden Canyon by G. A. Henty. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Watched. A little higher up, the valley narrowed again. The sides came closer and closer until they closed in abruptly in a rounded precipice, down which, in the wet season, it was evident that a waterfall leaped from a height above. They didn't come down here, Dave said if it were anywhere it was near where the attack was made the sides slope away a bit there now keep your eyes skinned and see if you can make out any place where a man might climb up or down our lives may depend on it just as they reached the old encampment dick said look dave there is a ledge running up behind that bush it seems to me that it joins another ledge halfway up tom and i are accustomed to climbing we will go up a bit and see if it goes anywhere the two lads stopped as they got behind the bush it looks like a path here dave it has certainly been trodden the miners came to the spot you are right dave said it is a path sure enough animals of some sort come up and down bears i should say maybe goats and lots of them like enough it is the only way they can get down from the top into the valley and they come down to drink the ridge was wider than it looked, being where it started, fully two feet across. The boys at once set off up it, as Dick had supposed. It met another ledge running along halfway up the face of the hill. From below this ledge seemed a mere line, but it was really two feet wide in most places, and even at the narrowest was not less than a foot. Two hundred yards along, another ascent was met with, and after half an hour's climbing they found themselves on a level plateau from which they could see across to the three peaks the path was everywhere worn smooth showing that it had been used for ages by animals of some kind one would almost think it had been cut by hand dick said who would have thought from below that there was such a way as this out of the valley the best of it is that it is good enough for the horses to get up as well as us well thank goodness we have found a back door to that place it was not a pleasant idea that we might be shut up there with the option of being either shot or starved they would take some time to starve us dick nine horses would last us for a long time yes but it would come sooner or later tom anyhow i shall feel a great deal more comfortable now i know that there is a way out but the indians know of it too dick if as dave thinks they came down this way to attack the mexicans yes that is not such a comfortable idea well lads what do you make of it dave shouted to them as they approached the bottom we have been right up to the top the ponies could go anywhere it is narrow in places but we have passed many worse on the way the cliffs never close up so even at the worst places there is room for them to get along with their loads what is it like at the top level ground along to the drop of the cliffs hills behind it to the south well it is a comfort that there is a way down into the valley anyhow since you have been gone we have been fossicking about and there is no doubt about the gold it is the richest place any of us have ever seen have you found water dave no that is the one thing bad we shall have to go out to fetch water but maybe if we dig in the center of the channel we shall find it the best place to try will be at the end right under where the waterfall comes down in winter there is most always a deep hole in the rock there where the water and stones and so on have come down and pounded away the bed rock we found where the gold comes from too there is a big quartz vein running right up the face of the cliff there. It is just full of gold. You can see it sparkle everywhere. Some day, when the Indians is all wiped out, fellows will bring machinery and powder and will have one of the richest mines in the world. However, that don't concern us. I reckon there is enough in this gravel under our feet to make a hundred men rich. Now, Boston, what do you think is the best thing to do first? see if we can get water dave if we were shut up here without water they would have us in twelve hours so we have got to get enough for ourselves and the horses to drink if we can even if we have to fetch up what we want for the gravel 
when we have got water the next job will be to make a cradle there are plenty of trees here and we have got our hatchets and we have brought the zinc screens so we have got everything we want i don't say we mightn't pick up a lot of nuggets still i have got a dozen already making i should say over an ounce between them still the others is the real thing to depend on and there is another thing dave Zeke put in we must have a watch we had intended that but we thought we should have only one place to watch now we have found this track up the hill we have two that is so dave though it is pretty hard on us having two out of five idle still we have got a lesson there austin said pointing to the spot where they found the skeletons ay ay it has got to be done dave said well lads will you take the watch to-day one above and one at the mouth and we will set to work at the water hole we will toss up which goes up the hill again dick you spin heads tails it is then i will choose the mouth here you go up to the mouth's head don't you be walking about when you get to the top dave said find some place where you can get a clear view all around and then lie down choose a bit of shade if you can find it when we knock off work and have had a bit of grub i will come up and take your place it was just getting dusk when dave came up and relieved dick are you going to stay here all night dick yes we have agreed i shall keep watch here to-night boston to-morrow night and then i go on again zeke will take the watch below regular he sleeps like a dog and the least noise in the world will wake him so he will do very well can you make up the indian village across there from here yes quite plainly you have not been using your glass i hope dave said in alarm no i forgot to bring it up with me but why shouldn't i because if the sun were to flash on the glass or brass work it would be certain to catch the eye of someone in the village and if it did you may be sure they would send up to see what it was still if you can make out the village it will save us the need for keeping watch in the daytime down below it is from there we have got to expect an attack the most and if you saw them moving out strong you could shout down to us and we would be ready for them at night in course we must watch both places for there may be for anything we know a big village half a mile from here and the attack might come from one way or the other i expect you would rather work than watch dick so you had better arrange to change places with tom in the middle of the day then you can each work half a day you will find that plenty i warrant did you find water dave yes plenty of it enough for the horses and the washing too end of chapter ten